Hi guys, welcome to Glitch Guru. In this video, we'll show you what to do if the Microsoft Authenticator app is not working on your new iPhone. So open the Microsoft Authenticator app. Now here you should see this particular login screen. Here don't sign in directly with your Microsoft account. Instead, select this restore from a backup option. If you are already on this particular screen, instead of tapping the plus icon in the top right corner, select this begin recovery option at the bottom so if you previously backed up data to the iCloud this will automatically restore it and you should be able to access all your login two-factor authentication codes now the next thing you need to do is tap on this menu icon in the top left corner and then select settings now here you will need to enable this iCloud backup option so simply toggle on this option next you will need to go to this device registration option at the top so this is not necessary for those who are using personal Microsoft account but if you are using a work or school account you will need to register your device by tapping on this register device button. Now this is necessary for verifications. If you experience problems during the registration process please contact your IT department at your work or school. Now the next thing you need to do is go ahead to the settings app on your iPhone. Now scroll all the way down and then tap on apps. Now here you will need to tap on this authenticator app that is the Microsoft authenticator. Here make sure all these permissions are enabled especially this background app refresh and mobile data. Now go to notifications and make sure they are enabled as well. Now you will need to head to the app store and search for the authenticator app. If there are any pending updates for the Microsoft authenticator app make sure to install them from here. Once you have updated the app the app should work as before. However, if you still experience problems, head to the settings app again. Now this time you will need to go to general settings on your iPhone. Here scroll down and tap on date and time. Now here you will need to make sure that the date and time is set to automatic. Now additionally make sure your time zone is also correct. Now return to the previous menu. If nothing else works, your last option is to go to transfer or reset iPhone. Now tap on this reset option here and then select reset network settings. So if you are using a VPN or if there is a problem with your mobile data or your Wi-Fi, this should help resolve it quickly. However, if you still experience problems, the last thing you can try is restart your iPhone. If you find this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Glitch Guru.